Here we have log base 4 of x plus log base 4 of x plus 7 equals 1. And in a lot of ways, this is the perfect intermediate algebra problem because it contains so many different aspects of the entire course. So let's do it. We first need to use properties of logarithms to combine. Right? We want to combine this into a single logarithm. So let's do that. Log base 4 of x x plus 7 equals 1. Once we have this written as a single logarithm, we convert to exponential form. All right, so we take our 4 around to the exponent, back inside for the equals. Okay, so now we're looking at 4 to the power of 1 equals x times x plus 7. All right, well remember that x squared Anything with x squared in it, right, a bunch of stuff, that likes to be set equal to zero, always. So it's easy to get lost in these problems, but if you remember that x squared likes to be set equal to zero, that gives you some direction. So let's do that. So we have 4 equals x squared plus 7x. And subtract the 4 from both sides to get x squared plus 7x minus 4 equals zero. Well, it would be really nice if we could factor this, but it doesn't. We would need factors of negative 4 that add up to 7. Not going to happen. Right? We can try all day. That does not factor. But we don't give up when something doesn't factor. We have a formula for that. It's the quadratic formula. There it is. So remember how that works. Here we have 1 for A, our plus 7 is our B, and our minus 4 is C. Okay, so let's plug all of that into the quadratic formula. We get x equals negative b, so negative 7, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 49 minus 4 times a, well a is 1, times c, c is negative 4. Okay, all over 2 times a, which is 1. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 plus 16. 49 plus 16 is 65. 65 over 2. Okay, well 65 doesn't break down in any way that we can get it out of this radical, so that's stuck behind. The one thing we can do here though, if we have a minus, negative 7 minus rad 65, that's going to give us a negative number. Right, and we cannot put a negative number inside of x because logs can't have negatives inside them. So we ditch the negative solution, leaving only negative 7 plus rad 65 all over 2. And just to make sure that that gives us a positive number, we can compute the square root of 65. That comes out to about 808.2. 06. So negative 7 plus 8.06 is going to give us a positive number, so we're in the clear with that solution. So there we have it.